Hey guys, it's Ami and Moi. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute baby dinosaur. This utilizes my Ami Groomy open mouth face pattern, which you can find right here. So go ahead and follow that video first. So you just make the head first. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and come back, come on back to create the rest of the body here. You can make him in all sorts of colors and you could also make him with this belly patch. Here's a green one, here's another one in sort of this golden color that I made. He has a little tail, stubby little little arms. And here's one in a light blue. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> Here are the materials you'll need. Okay, for the body of our dinosaur for round one, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and close up your circle and use a stitch marker. Okay, now for round two, we're going to increase all the way around. So two in each one and you will have 12 single crochet stitches. So that's two here, one and two. And then go ahead and work up two in each stitch around. Now for round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, all the way around, and we will have 18 single crochet stitches. So I'm gonna do two single crochets there. That's one, my second one, and then just one here. Okay, two here, and then just one here. Two here, and then just one. Okay, and repeat all the way around. For round four, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around, and we will have 24 single crochet stitches. Two, and then just one, and one. And repeat this pattern around. Okay, and I will meet you at the end of this round. Now for rounds five to seven, we are just going to stay at 24 single crochet stitches. So that's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round seven. So this is how you should look like after round seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven rounds. So now for round eight, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And in our next six um, stitches, it's just going to be one single crochet stitch. So here's a decrease right here. And then just one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to repeat again, decrease. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. And continue to repeat the pattern around. And you should have 21 single crochet stitches in the end. Now for round nine, we are going to stay at 21. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of this round. For round 10, now our pattern is going to be a decrease and then in the next five stitches, it's just going to be one single crochet stitch. So here's a decrease and then one, two, three, four, and five. 
and continue to repeat the pattern around and in the end you should have 18 single crochet stitches. For round 11, we are just going to stay at 18. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. Now for round 12, our pattern is going to be decrease and then in our next four, it's just a single crochet stitch. So here's a decrease and then just one, two, three, four. And continue to repeat the pattern around and at the end of this round, you should have 15 single crochet stitches. Now for round 13, we are just going to stay at 15 single crochet stitches. So just go ahead and work up your stitches, one in each stitch around. Now for round 14, we want to go to 12 single crochet stitch. So our pattern is going to be a decrease. And then our next three, just a single crochet stitch. So here's a decrease. And then just one, two, and three. And continue to repeat the pattern around. And at the end, you should have 12 single crochet stitches. And fasten off to leave a long tail. And this is our body completed. Okay, now for the foot. We are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And for rounds two through six, we are just going to stay at six single crochet stitch. So it's just one in each stitch around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and so I'll keep doing your rounds until you reach the end of round six. And here's how our foot should look like. That's one, two, three, four, five, six rounds completed. And you'll want to make two of these and we are not going to stuff them. Now for the arm, we are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. It's going to be one, two, three, and four. And now for rounds two and three, we are just going to stay at four single crochet stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, and round three, we are going to do the same. Make sure. Here's one, two, three and four. It's a bit tight. If you find that four is too tight, you can try doing five single crochet stitches instead. But I like my arm to be teeny tiny, so I'm just going to do four in each stitch around. And you want to make two of these, and this one you're also not going to stuff. For the tail for round one, we are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. It's one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now I'm going to use a stitch marker. For round two, we are going to stay at four single crochet stitch around. So that's one two, three, and four. For round three, 
we want to have five so we're just going to increase in our first one and just one in each one around so here i'm going to do one and my second one two and then just one in each one around so that's three four and then five it's my very last stitch here for round four, I'm just going to stay at five single crochet stitch. So it's just one in each stitch around. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Now for round five, I want to go to six single crochet stitch. So it's going to be two in the very first stitch right here and just one in each one. So that's three, four, five, and six. Now for round six and seven, I'm going to stay at six single crochet stitches. So that's just one in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round eight, my pattern is going to be two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. So I'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end. That's one and two, and then just one and one. Now I'm gonna do two here, one, two, and then just one and one. Okay, now for round nine, I'm just going to stay at eight single crochet stitches. So that's just one, two, three, all the way around. Now for round 10, I want to increase to 10. So it's just going to be two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around. So that's two here. And then just one, 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 two here. That's one. And in the same place, two. And then in the next stitch, just one, one, one. And that very last round 11, it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. And we should still stay at 10 single crochet stitches at the end. And here is our tail completed. For the belly patch with yellow yarn, you are going to go ahead and chain five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And for row one, we are going to do four single crochet stitches across. So that's one and two and three and four. Okay, you're gonna chain one and turn. Now for row two, you're just going to increase at the beginning and increase at the end. And so you will have six single crochet stitches. So we're going to do two here, one, and two, and then just one here, and one here, and then you're gonna do, do an increase here. So that's one and two, so now at the end, you should have one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochet stitches. Okay, so you're going to chain one and turn. Now for the next three rows, so we are going to stay at the six single crochet stitch. Okay, so go ahead and just single crochet stitch across. Okay. One, two, three, four, five rows. You're going to chain one and turn. Now you're going to skip this first stitch right here and then do single crochet stitch across. So we're going to 
have five single crochet stitches at the end. So we're going to skip one and then go into our next one and just do one, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and turn. We're going to skip this stitch right here again and go into this one right here. And we're going to have four. One, two, three, and four. Chain one and turn. We're going to skip this one, go into our next stitch, and then it's just going to be three in this row right here. Okay, chain one and turn. And in our very last row, we're going to skip this one and just do single crochet here, which should end with just two single crochet stitch. And then you want to go ahead and cut a long tail because we're going to be using it to sew all the way around. Now we're ready to assemble our dinosaur. You can go ahead and stuff the body. And in here is our little baby dinosaur. And then we can also give it a little belly if we want. This is optional. And here's our finished baby dinosaur. Okay, you can also make him just plain without his belly patch. You can make him in all sorts of different colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe for all my tutorials as i'll be coming out with more fun amigurumis all right thanks for watching bye for now see you next video